Hey guys, what's up? It's Zebra here, bringing you another white fight battle. This one's a double header of sorts. This is against Shika, as you all know. Um, well, I'm pretty sure most of you all know. Awesome guy. Um, we did two battles tonight, so let's go ahead and get into this. As you can see, he's got a, you know, standard, kind of standard team, standard match. So let's go ahead and get into this. So he's going to lead off with Voltoros or Thunderous, and I'm going to lead off with my Specs Pert. And I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Just, you know, be safe. Don't want to overpredict too early in the game. He's going to bring out Ferrothorn, safe play. Do a really nice chunk with the Specs and Ice Beam and all, even though it's like resisted and all that, or neutral. But I'm just going to go ahead and bring in... Um, to do the wave or electrotross or whatever his name is on a obvious stealth rock so he's gonna switch out not knowing he said he wasn't really sure what I do but I do have a flamethrower and I just went ahead and went for flamethrower but he's gonna bring in a guard chomp and I'm pretty sure I can take whatever it wants to do even because I'm at full HP and I'm just gonna hit with the HP ice and that's easily gonna take off this guard chomp so he was kind of bummed about losing guard chomp early in the game which kind of does suck but you know it, I guess it happens so, um, he's going to bring in his little freeze, which is uh, his arena close. I'm just going to go for the crunch, and it doesn't do that much, but I do get the defense drop as he's just going to go for a calm mind. So, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to go for another crunch because, you know, I do outspeed, even though my speed is terrible. It's not arena close terrible, so, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to go for the crunch and just do some more damage to the residual. I was thinking he might have recovered here, but, you know, he just went ahead and just went for the safe psychic just to finish me off and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in my uh, right on and just kind of revenge kill it with mega horn if you wanted to switch save his arena close for later uh, mega horn would have done decent damage to pretty much anything that wanted to come in so he's gonna bring in his uh, Vaporeon and I don't really want to stay in on that and I'm gonna bring in my specially defensive T-Mobile just to or Phrygion, just to take whatever he wants to do and he predicts the switch I'm pretty sure and goes for the, the ice beam it does a good good amount of damage commits considering I am max special defense but he's gonna switch out and go for the uh go into metagross as i go for the sword stance just to get my attack uh up there pretty good and uh he's gonna go actually i'm, I'm faster because my base speed is just i'm naturally faster i'm just gonna go for the sacred sword it does a really good amount of damage to the metagross and i'm just gonna end up dying to an ice punch because i'm not physically defensive so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and bring in my specs pert and i think i'm just gonna go for um what am I going to go for? Surf. Yes, I'm going to go for Surf. Just, uh, you know, stab Surf specs. And it does a lot of damage, but I get a crit, which kind of sucks. It's like, what? Might have been the first crit of the game, but, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. So, um, he's going to go for Leech Seed as I switch into my Haunch Crow. And I'm just ready to just start Brave Birding the fuck out of everything. So, let's just go ahead and get into this. He gets some Leech Seed health. That's cool. He gets back over half, so kind of canceled out all the damage I did to him, so I'm just going to go ahead and start Brave Bird the fuck out of everything. I'm going to Brave Bird this Vaporeon, it's going down, going down, and it's crit. I was like, holy shit, it's kind of unfortunate, but I guess it happens. This, this match was a little hacksy, I got, I got quite a few crits. So he was going to bring in his uh, uh, Thunderous, I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch just to get a lot of damage onto it, it does a lot, and he goes for the Hidden Power Ice, I believe, and I'm just going to bring in my... Um, my uh, my Medicham, my Jackie Chan, we're bringing Medicham, and I'm just gonna go for the safe high jump kick. Well, it's not really safe because if I miss, I'm fucked. But he's gonna go for the, uh, the prankster uh, thunder wave just to paralyze me because I'm scarfed, and just you know kind of make me a little more use, make me useless. So he's gonna bring in his Metagross, and I'm not really sure I can take anything that this thing wants to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in my uh, my Specspert because it is pretty. It's pretty safe switch against this thing. So he's gonna go for the meteor mash, and it doesn't do much so I know I can live so he's gonna withdraw and he's gonna bring in his uh, Ferrothorn and I kinda predict that and just decided to start going for HP fires just to start finish off the, the, his last two steel types so that's that's gonna be gone and he's gonna bring in his uh, Metagross and uh, he's gonna go for the earthquake this time and that's that is gonna be enough to take me out so my uh, Swampert's gonna die he's hanging on life form so I'm gonna bring my ride on Knowing I can pretty much take anything he really wants to do to me. So he's just going to go for the stab meteor mash. It is super effective. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to take it quite well. It does about half. Half damage. And uh, he's just going to end up dying to his own life form. So uh, that was a great game, Chica. Um, yeah, so um, it was kind of a hacksy match. But uh, 
what can you do? Hacks it happens. It, it's rather unfortunate when it does happen because it can ruin an, a really good game. So let's go ahead and get into the second battle. Um, second battle, I grabbed some folks, but uh, he wanted to make a whole new team, so I was hoping to make that team put together a team that kind of ended up fucking me in the ass. So um, he's going to lead off with my champ, but I'm just going to go ahead and trick and uh, give him the scarf, and he's just going to go for the payback, and it's going to do a shitload of damage to Mew. Because, you know, I'm invested in HP and speed, but, you know, wow, it completely, like, wrecked my Mew. So, <clears throat> I'm going to want to switch out of here, and I'm going to go switch into my Golem, just, you know, so, because Golem is defensive, and, you know, I can take hits all day since he is locked into Payback. So, um, he's going to hit me with the Payback, I get the Rugged Helmet recoil, and it's not going to do much. So, he's going to switch into his Dookie Face, which is a slow bro, and I'm just going to go for the, uh, Body Purge or Automize which uh, cuts my uh, weight in half and doubles, uh, gives me plus two speed. But uh, that matchup is not looking great because, you know, Slowbro is physically defensive and he's just going to go for the Psychic and it does less than half. So I go for the Will, was kind of predicting the switch, thinking he'd fear the Thunderbolt. But I decided to stay in. I am Scarfed. I decided to stay in and go for a Thunderbolt for some fucking odd reason. I decided I wanted to fucking Will with his, uh, his uh, Slowbro for some reason. Even though it's a special attacker. But uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball as I bring my Gengar, and he switches out into uh, his Scizor, and I'm gonna go for Hypnosis, knowing that I don't wanna take anything that this thing wants to hit me with. So I Hypnosis this, I don't miss, which is great, but I miss my Focus Blast, which kinda sucks, so I'm kinda worried that he's gonna be waking up soon. So I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast again, hoping I do. hoping it'd be enough to take it out, or just kill it, but uh, it's not gonna be enough. And. He doesn't wake up, which is great, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, not wanting to miss a fucking Focus Blast, because, ah, Focus Blast, fuck you. So he's going to bring his Machamp, and I'm going to go for Hypnosis, because uh, he's still Scarfed, and I'm going to go for Hypnosis and put that thing to sleep, and now I think I'm just going to go for, you know, Safe Stab, Thunderbolt, no, not, not Stab, Safe Thunderbolt. He traces my Levitate, which does come important. No, I'll go for Shadow Ball, <sighs> whatever. So he goes for Shadow, I go for Shadow Ball, he gets Levitate, I bring in my Mew, and he's going to hit me with the Thunder Wave, that's fine, because I have the Synchronize, because I always get hit by Synchronize, because I always fucking forget about it, but I bring in Mew, get the Synchronize off, both paralyzed, so, you know, whatever. So, um, now I'm just going to go for the trick, and give him leftovers, and I'm going to steal his Evil Light, because I have a plan. I want to transform into this Mew. And I want to re start recovering some of the damage off, because, you know, his attacks aren't really doing much. But I get paralyzed this time, and I don't get the, the transform off, so... Uh, this time I do get the transform, and I was wondering if me transforming into a Porygon 2 with Evil Light did give me the boost. But, you know, we'll never find out, because I did end up dying. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my uh, see me rolling because um, I did get rid of his Evil Light, and I was thinking maybe Stone Edge will do a lot of damage, but still ends up doing nothing, and I'm just like... Fuck, this sucks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and para flinch him with steam or uh no I'll go for the earthquake, but I forget that he has levitate, but he gets paralyzed this turn. So that's where the levitate came into key play or key part of the match, but I forgot about that. So now I'm gonna try and para flinch him with a steamroller or hard roll with the bug type move, but uh it doesn't work because I'm not a fucking Jirachi and he ice beams me to death. So Oregon 2 is just like running rampant on my team. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my all smiles. And I'm just hoping Focus Blast hits this time. And it does hit, and that's great. And I'm gonna do super much damage because I think I end up getting another crit, which kinda did matter maybe. I'm running Expert Belt Timid with uh, Gengar, yeah. But he doesn't have his Evil Stone anymore, so whatever. So he's gonna go for um, Flamethrower, and I'm gonna go for. Shadow Ball just to get damage on this thing before I freaking die. And I know that he's locked in the flamethrower because I helped him make this. And I know he's scarfed. And I'm just going to go into my um, Dragon Egg because I know I can take a flamethrower really well plus multi scale. And I know he's going to want to switch out to Slowbro because that is his physically defensive wall. So I do the double switch and bring out my Eightfold. And knowing, fearing the switch into Ditto King on obvious Thunder or Bolt Switch, I'm just going to go for the Bug Buzz because it is stab and it is super effective against Slowbro regardless. And it does end up taking him out. So now he brings in his Dragonite, and I'm just like, shit. Um, his Dragonite is faster than my Dragonite. So I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz just to break that multi-scale. 
And Dragon Claw doesn't end up killing me, which is great, so I'm just gonna go for another Bug Buzz and just do try to get as much damage on this thing as possible. I believe here I do get a special defense drop. Yes, I do. I get a special defense drop. So he's gonna go for the Dragon Dance this time. Now he's gonna be able to outspeed me, and this time he's gonna go for the Roost uh, after he gets his lefties, and he's gonna be back at the multi scale. Which is uh which is uh not good. It's it's not good at all. So, um, he's gonna be roost, and I'm just gonna go for the bug buzz, and it does about half after the spadef drop, even with multi skill. It does about almost half, which is like really surprising because I'm running a specs mod as Shindare. I mean, not Shindare, but then Galvantula. I'm just, God damn it. So, he's gonna finish me off with the Dragon Claw, and I'm gonna bring in my last poke, which is my Dragonite, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just, because I'm banded, and he's faster than me, Dragon Claw's gonna do a shitload of damage to me because he is plus one. Even with multi scale, I'm just gonna lock myself in outrage. I know that'll take it out, but uh, with me being locked in outrage um, and not being fast of some sort, he's gonna bring in his Nidoking and finish me off with uh, uh, Encourage or Sheer Force uh, Choice Scarf to Ice Beam. That's crit totally mattered. Crit was a game changer. Could have lived. Hit it with that out. Uh, hit it with another outrage. Just kidding. So uh, that was a great game, Sheikah. Uh, two fun matches is a lot of fun. Um, there will be a link to his channel, but the main thing I'd probably want to link you to is Fried Chicken and Rice. It's a channel with him and his buddy Tyler. They're doing. Uh, I know a lot of you guys love my uh, trading card game and my like trading card game stuff that I do and uh, Gotta Pull Mall series. I know a lot of you guys like that. So their channel is mainly all TCG stuff. Uh, they do uh, matches, uh, deck. Uh, they do like deck builds, tune ups, and stuff. Make sure you check out their channel. They have a lot of good stuff uh, going up on that channel. So there, there's a link to uh, there's a link to Sheikah's channel, which doesn't I guess really pays no mind to whatever's going on. But the main link that I probably want you guys to check out is Fried Chicken and Rice. Uh, it's a really great channel. One of my really well, I don't really know Tyler, but Sheikah's a really cool guy. He's a really cool TCG guy. Um, but yeah, just make sure you check out both of those channels, mainly Fried Chicken and Rice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these two matches. Um, I'm not really gonna link anything for videos of battles, but the links will be in links will be in description below, so you can check out those if you want. There'll be like two links to two videos. Um, but also, um, like again, I do have a Twitter, a Twitter account, so you know you can you can check that out and Facebook and all that shit. All those all those good links will be in the description below. So yeah. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed those two matches. They're they're fun matches. They're I think they were both two O's, um, both sides. It was a one one. It ended on a good note. So, other than that, um, I'll probably be uploading another video probably soon. So I hope you guys. Oh, how many times I'm gonna say that? All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.